this MMO is, and uh, I think we talked about this a few episodes ago, this MMO is going to have a lot of firsts. This is one of them. You know, this was built through COVID. This, they were built when they were working remotely. They were building it openly then. They're building it openly now. And so I see this, I see this more as just a way to connect with your audience in a way that other MMOs don't. And I see that more as a boon, more as a help, more as an asset than anything else. Because I think when you can connect with your audience early on and through the development cycle, you hear your audience, you hear what they want, which in turn helps you shape what you want to make. So, I don't, yeah, I think it's where I end up. Cash, I'm going to I'm going to kind of clarify the question before I go to you here. Procti says marketing wouldn't point out flaws and reiterate alpha status, but. Oftentimes we are told that there are delays, there are, you know, reasons why this got, you know, pushed back, but you don't see any of that. You get told that, but you don't actually see any of the actual problems. So are we, uh, with the open development, you would think that it would be, if it was truly open, you would see the good and the bad. We're really only seeing the good in the development process. So is this open development or is this not open development? It's definitely open development, but again, I don't see any reason why they would not want to show the best possible product that they have out there. We do see issues, and I'm sure we're going to see plenty more when we're testing the game, right? Because the one thing they haven't done is test the game with a large amount of people in there. Sure, there's, you know, Phoenix Initiative folks and the folks who are in there from Alpha 1. There's They've done plenty of stress testing and stuff like that, but they haven't stress tested it the way it's about to get stress tested come, you know, day one of Alpha 2. It's really going to be stress tested. To go... A little bit to where what Jibs was talking about, he, he mentioned one thing about shaping it. I don't think it is just open development what we're seeing. I think we're seeing both. I think we're seeing open development for one. I absolutely believe that we're seeing marketing. There's no reason that, that both of those can't coexist together. And that is happening because if there was just open development and nobody was seeing it from the from the perspective of a consumer with the bit of marketing that they are doing, there would not be the amount of eyes that are on Ashes of Creation that there are right now. And the third leg to that, I think, to, to, to really make my point stand up is the fact that with their open development and the marketing that they're doing inadvertently, right? The third leg to that is what they're doing with the community. You do not have an MMO without the people. And you have a lot of people paying attention to this and watching this. That's why every content creator streams are growing. That's why there's more eyes getting on people's videos. That's why there's more people being interested in opinion pieces because there's more eyes coming on this game, whether it's good or whether or whether their opinions, viewers opinions about it are good or bad. It doesn't matter. Something they're doing is working to bring people's eyes onto the game. And I think it's a mixture of all three of those things, their transparency, their uh, marketing, whether or not it's intended or not, it is happening because people are seeing the game and go, it, it's as easy as this friends, people see pretty footage of the Riverlands and they see things working and they go, whoa, what is this? That is marketing. And then the third thing that they're doing is they are growing their community from all of the aspects that they're doing. They're listening to people. They're changing things quickly that we don't like. They're asking our opinions. So I think it's all three of those things that's coming together. And that's why this seems like such a strange experience because very few, very, very, very few games that are, have ever been in development have ever seen this type of microscope on everything the developers are doing. 